viewers welcome to my channel i am shame for you i think about modern lifestyle food and family today i want to share with you the size uh, or how your baby may react to solid so we have been having a lot of discussion about introducing baby to food the type of food to introduce your to your baby the size um to look out for to even show that your baby is ready to solve for solid and a lot of videos like that have been made on this channel please if you've not watched any of this video please go back and watch these videos i'm sure that it will surely be a blessing to you and if this is the first time that you'll be joining me on this channel i say a very big welcome to you you're welcome to my channel welcome to my channel i'm so excited to have you on board i'm so excited to connect with you with this video thank you so much in case you don't know my name my name is chion Poju. i'm a mother to a one-year-old girl and um, she turned one in um, july 2020 and uh, she's so excited to also have you watch our mom's channels so please subscribe to our channel um please like this video comment drop a comment for me and you can also turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that i post i actually post every wednesday so you can look forward to it i'm trying to work on my schedule to make sure that i I fulfill this obligation and my promise to you so please subscribe to my channel please share this video with your mom or father group please share it with your um, your guy friends your mom friends your you know everybody around you because you know it takes a village to raise a child it's not just about the parents it's not just about the mom it's not just about the dad you can be an aunt um your, your uncle you know a godmom or a godfather and you might want to in one way or the other you might just come in contact with that baby and you might want to um help out with some things and you know it's not nice that you will not know anything about how to you know take care of a child that is why i am here that is why i'm making this video so that you can know a lot of things probably you know maybe the mom just stepped out and this baby has started solid and you are seeing a green pool hmm? uncle what are you going to do so this is the reason why you need to watch this video please you need to share this video with other people and um, subscribe to my channel that's just an enlightenment but i'm just saying that stuff like that happen we all know that so um the first thing to know is that a baby when you when you introduce a baby to food it's not like breast milk it's not like formula you cannot expect the normal yellow pool or probably green pool if in case the mom changed her diet or she's taking things that are more greeny the, even though yes the baby's taking breast milk the breast the baby can still have green pool and more you know there are a lot of charts on on google you can check the um the things to like the the pool charts to show that the your baby's pool is still within the normal range of pool so if the baby's poo is white it's not a good sign but if it is yellow you know brown and probably greenish it is still normal in the first few weeks i think in the first day or second day over this this there's a poo they call myconium that the baby passed a hand so it, it still shows that the baby's poo is normal so that i'm not here to talk about how baby pools but the reason why i'm laying this foundation is because we are talking about um, how a baby body system might react to solid so the first thing to know is that the pool might change so you might be seeing um like if you take if the baby takes um maybe something like uh, a way do or the baby takes something like avocado you might be seeing the pool come out greenish you understand so the the pool might follow the color of the food that is eating Another thing to know is that even though the poo comes out in the color, the food that you give the child can come out like that undigested because the kidney is still quite tender, the liver is still quite tender, all those digestive systems are still very, very, very tiny. They are not like our own that can grind, that can pound, that can... 
that can do anything. You know, our digestive system is strong, but these ones are still quite tender. And that is the reason why, you know, a lot of us must take care on what we give our babies. Because it's not all the things that a baby, um, an adult eats or the manner at which um, an, an, adult, an adult eats a particular food that a baby will. So you understand? Because the systems are quite different. So, like, let me cite an example for you. Um, on Saturday, I went out with my family, and um, there's this corn that grandma brought for us from a side. Grandma came over the, during the week, and she brought corn. So I preserved it, kept it in the freezer, and when we're going out on Saturday, I decided to make some, you know, some sweet corn kind of thing. <laughs> so... I, I, I cooked the corn and, you know, I cooked a little bit of corn for better and mama ate the corn only for Sunday morning to come and the drops of the corn, the corns, <laughs> I don't even know how to put this, the corn was like literally in the pool. I was, there was one that ran out. I have to pick the corn because I know it's just corn. It came out like that. So, and better is like one year, four months now. You can imagine how much more, you know. So things like that. Assuming I was at home, I probably have mashed it for a little or something. But even if you mash, the col the food might still come out like that undigested. So you know, if sometimes when better taste carrot, the carrots, the part of the poop might just be um, orange. And the other one yellow, and I'll be like, hmm, miracle worker, <laughs> because you know the it, it, the it, the head and tail of it, this is that the pool, the food might come undigested, the color of the pool might change according to the um, the food that is eaten. Another thing to look out for is um, to know is that your baby might have constipation. Um, constipation is a common sign in babies, um, a common symptom, or probably, it's not a disease. Okay, a, a common symptom in babies that shows that, you know, it's, it's, a form, it's a way of the body, their system reacting to the solid. So, they might have difficulty in passing pool, you know, the pool might be hard, they might be gripping, cracking, you know, um, you know, trying to, they might be doing like... <clears throat> Be they pushing it down to make sure that the poop comes out, <laughs> comes out, you know. So um, I just want to do a shout out to my friend, Mrs. Jones. You rep, you rep, you rep. The reason why I'm mentioning Mrs. Jones is because when Mrs. Jones wanted to introduce her baby to solid, oh no, oh my God, she's always calling. Ha, she, this and this and this is what happened. He's cranky. He's a, and he's taking water. He's, you know, it, it's it's not. It's she's such a mom that she cares so much about a child. She wants to get it right. So you know, and this this video is also dedicated to baby Raymond because it is it, it showed a lot of all the all the signs and um, we're able to overcome and. I think it's something to be happy about. We won, Mrs. Jones, we won. <laughs> now we know what to do. Okay, so on a lighter note, the constipation comes and it goes. It's not a permanent thing. So what it's just trying to show you is that the baby, the food is um, is probably more binding, like if the baby is not taking enough water. So what you can do is to give the baby more water, make sure that the baby is taking more water, um, give the baby foods that can um, that are um, rich in fiber or high fiber, high fiber food, food that are rich in fiber that can ease the passing out of um, poo and all. So if you're able to do that, the, and you can also notice, that's why I said that when you're introducing baby to food, you must notice within four, three to four, the, um, within two, the first day to fourth day, and see how is the baby system doing. If the baby is becoming cranky and hot, you might note is it is the food too thick or is the food a biting food? So you can know how to you know reduce such a food you might not be giving the baby every time. It might just be once in a while, you understand, since the system is not taking it. That does not mean that you should not give the baby that food. 
um, it's just that the system is not probably strong enough to digest it. So you might reduce the frequency on how much you feed the baby with that food. But if you are rushing everything, giving the baby amala today, this on today, tomorrow, ah, everything, you know, if you're giving the baby all the food all at once, you might not be able to pinpoint the kind of food that is causing this kasala. Do you understand? So another thing to look out for is uh, allergies. Allergies are very common with children. A lot of children are allergic to nuts. They are like allergic to you know um, milk. Um, some are allergic to you know um, is it fish and even some other things that I might not probably mention that I might not probably remember to even mention. A lot of children show these allergies. I used to have this um, thing called eyes when I was growing up. I remember this because I was not even, I think I was around eight years old or something. They call it, in Yoruba land, they call it Egbesi. So, if you're, if you're a Yoruba person or probably a Nigerian person, and you're seeing something like eyes called Egbesi on your child, and the baby just started solid, it's a reaction. It's not, it's, you know, like, it's a sign that something is going wrong, but the baby system does not like something. So you have to, you know, probably take the baby to the pediatrician and so that they can attend to the baby. So another thing to look out for when you introduce the baby to solid is that the baby, you know, can have some, some difficulty in breathing, choking. Choking is very common. So please make sure that the food are well mashed, are well pulled, pureed. Um, avoid giving, you know, I'm going to talk about it in my next video, the food you should avoid giving to a young baby or young children or you know food that doesn't go one of it is not like if you give if you are eating granola your baby might want that granola but please make it into a butter like eat it in your mouth or probably you match it and give it to the baby because the baby cannot take that 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 um peanut alone can stand in the in the throat and cause choking and that might lead to a lot of um, medical emergencies. You know, when you're noticing signs like difficulty in breathing, loss of consciousness, you know, um, cr um, excessive cranky, not being able to pull for days and all that, those are the things you should please raise and discuss it with your pediatrician as soon as possible. I hope you were able to learn one or two things from this video. Please. I would like to know how your baby reacted to solid. I was just able to share mine and baby Raymond, Mrs. Jones' child, um, what they call it, um, experience in this video. But I'm interested in knowing more about yours. Um, so please drop a comment for me. You can also reach me on my social media platform, IG, um, Instagram at Shion Koji, um, Facebook Shion Koji and I'll be so glad to connect with you. Please drop a comment for me and share this video with other people. Subscribe to my channel and please, we have not finished this series. It's still remaining one or two more um, videos to go. So please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.